In this tutorial, we're going to finalize our magazine cover by working with channels and manipulating an image with a puppet warp. With our model layer selected in the Layers panel, we're going to go to Edit, Puppet Warp, and a mesh appears around the visible areas in the layer. In this case, the mesh is appearing over the model. You're going to see that the mesh... We're going to use the mesh to place pins where we want to control movement. We're going to click the edges of the shirt, and each time I click, the Puppet Warp adds a pin. The pins add added around the shirt will keep it in place when we tilt the head in a moment. So we're going to start by putting a pin at the nape of the neck and keep going around the shirt. We're going to continue here by pressing Alt. If you're a Windows user, Option. If you're a Mac user, when we press Alt, where the pin is right now, a large circle is going to appear, and a curved double appear, arrow appears next to it. So we're going to hold that Alt key down. We're going to take and drag the pointer to rotate the head backwards. When we do that, you can also look in your Options bar up there, right above where his head is, and you can see where we're going how far we're going down with that. If you can't get it to just where you want it, you see how my curved line is down at the bottom of my screen, you can always go in here and type in where you want to be. So for this one, we're going to put in 135, and I'm going to hit Enter. And when we're satisfied with the rotation, you're going to come up here to the Commit Puppet Warp button, and as you can see, it has changed. We're going to save our work that we've done so far. And now we're going to begin working with channels by using an alpha channel to create a shadow in front of his head. So we've already created a mask of the model. So to create our a shadow, we want to essentially duplicate the mask and then shift it. So we're going to use an alpha channel to make this possible. Over here in the Layers panel, we're going to Control click if you're a Windows user or Command click if you're a Mac, Mac user the layer icon right here of the model, control click, and then you notice that the model is selected. This is also our masked area. We're going to choose select, save selection, and we're going to put in model outline and click OK. Nothing ch changes in the layers panel or in the new image window. However, a new channel named Model Outline has been added to the Channels panel. Alright, we're going to create a new layer. I'm going to come down here and click the Create a New Layer button. And we're going to double click the layer 1 and call it Shadow. And press Enter. With this layer selected, we need to choose Select, Refine Edge. And when the dialog box pops up, we need to move the shift edge slider to 36%. Click OK. We're going to go to Edit, Fill, and in the Use menu, we're going to choose Black and click OK. And notice over here in your Layers panel, the shadow displays a filled in black outline of the model. We're going to reduce the layer opacity to 30% by coming up here and taking the slider down to 30. For now, the shadow is in exactly the same position as the model where it can't be seen, so we're going to shift it. We're going to go Control D, or if you're a Windows user, to deselect or Command D. And we're going to go up here to Edit, Transform, and then Skew. And we're going to go ahead and enter it up here in our Rotate field. We're going to enter negative. 15. You can also do it by hand. This is just an easier and quicker way to do it. Then we're going to drag the shadow to the left with our mouse, or you can come up here and enter 845 and hit enter. The last two things we need to do is come up here and click Commit Transform, 
and then make our magazine background layer visible and our magazine cover is ready to go.